specifically with our women, why is the truth offensive? Now, I had an epiphany the other day, right? And I was like, wait a minute. For, I'll say as long as I've been alive, so 46 years, we might as well just round it up and say the past five decades. For the past five decades, our women have been allowed, unchallenged, to say what they want, believe what they want, do what they want, unchallenged, unchallenged. It was their way because I said so and I'm a queen, divas. Shea butter and shit. Oh no, he didn't. Miss Peaches. No one has challenged our women. From the elders all the way down to my generation, Gen X. No one has challenged women on anything. And I'm not saying, you know, challenge them just to, you know, start an argument. But on social matters where we're not talking about our feelings. We're talking about things that can be verified. Double and triple verified. So I find it interesting, right? That uh, specifically our women... And, and you know we, we love you like cooked food, right? I, I hear this catchphrase. Well, who are you to speak on black women? Who who do you think you are? Uh, I'm an African American living inside of the United States of America. And we fall under the United States Constitution and I rightfully practice my First Amendment right, the freedom of speech, so I can say what the French toast I want to say. This motherfucker don't miss. Like, no one has challenged you in the past four decades, sweetie. And I think you take issue with that because it hits a nerve when we don't put our feelings in front of the argument. It's not an emotional argument. Don't argue with me. Argue with your mama. Oh, shit. Say it again. Don't argue with me. Argue with your mama. I don't care how you feel. All jokes aside. I don't care how you feel. When it comes to these numbers and statistics and data, things that can be double and triple verified, there is no argument. My nigga.